Day one. She's a chick in a jewelry store. Is there a heist going on? Did you pick the guy with more experience? I know he costs more, but he will not crash off of his bike. <laughs> Typical day one shit. Yeah, this is the bike. This is just a bag he's always in, ain't he? Like, what do you want me to say about day one? Like, he's just doing what day one does best. He's on his styling, flexing type shit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if this is your bag, day one delivers. This is one of them club songs, isn't it? Like, I'm in the wrong. I'm in the like, like let me clear. I'm enjoying this song for the most part. Like, it's a good song. It's not amazing. It's not terrible. It's better than okay. You know what I mean? It's a good song, but I am experiencing this in the wrong setting. Now, give me a few units of Jameson whiskey. Give me a little bit of a vibe. You'd never know. I might bump this song up a little bit more. This is one of them party club setting kind of songs, isn't it? For the man sitting here listening in the headphones, this ain't the vibe right now. But... When you're out socializing doing your team, that's when that's when this hits. Unless this is the kind of music that you like to listen to in your own time. For me, not so much. I'm more of a real rap shit or a grime or whatever. But you know what? I can understand what this song is aimed for. This song isn't aimed for the man in his bedroom. This is aimed for the man out socializing. Nice strong easy beat to two step two. Like yeah, just. Yeah. Click on, take your pick. Like oh, that's Jesus. Was this produced by Open Till Late by any chance? No, KP beats. Alright, shout out KP. Clean video as well by Jay and Jay and always delivering, man. Republic. Like this, right, where he is now is representing where this song should be played in the kind of settings it should be. You understand? Now you can't do a song about Shisha and I have Shisha in the video, right? Raw reefer stick, raw reefer spliff. My extracurricular activities. You know them bartenders, you know them bartenders that start making their moves, they start bringing out the cocktails, like start doing all the bottle flips and everything. When the random come true, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah I got you still. But when the girls come true now, you know, there's them wizards, them wizards behind the bar, I tell you. Alright, day one doing day one things. Simple as that. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is another track in Day One's catalogue that just establishes his style and shows us as an audience what he's about. I don't think he's done anything mad revolutionary here. He hasn't, you know, pushed the train forward or massively improved from the last thing. But you know what? It just supplements his catalogue. It means that when he goes and gets booked for shows, he has one more extra song to go and play. It means he's keeping up to date. He's dropping new music for the fans. Like, this ain't something that is like a momental shift in his career but it just adds on and gives him more time to work on that next momental shift you get what i'm saying momental is that even a word monumental shift i think that's what i was meant to say but you get what i'm coming from like like i think even day one would agree this isn't nothing crazy different or anything like that now that doesn't mean that's a bad thing like i know exactly what i want from hooligan hefts and i'm happy for hooligan hefts to do that in the meantime i know exactly what i want from chilling it so i'm happy for chill to just do that in the meantime like yes there will be a point where i want something different from them but right now if day one keeps doing this for another two or three tracks i'm not that mad i mean quote me on that because i guarantee in the next reaction i go raw when's he gonna pull out something different because that's what i'm like but you get where i'm coming from as a standalone single yeah does its thing like shout out day ones